Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Since the outbreak of war in Gaza, over 23 thousand Palestinians have been killed, including 10,000 children, and forced displacement is causing a humanitarian catastrophe. There's intensifying fighting between Hezbollah and Israel, a crisis in shipping security in the Red Sea, and, engulfing, and the engulfing of neighboring countries into a regional conflict. De-escalation will only occur when hostilities cease in Gaza. The Foreign Secretary yesterday said he was worried Israel may have broken international law, and the International Court of Justice is opening hearings in the Hague this week in relation to suspected breaches of obligations under the Geneva Convention. Will the Prime Minister make public legal, legal advice our government requested and received on suspected breaches of international law by Israel and the implications for UK policy, including relevant arms exports? Well, Mr. Mr Speaker, we continue to call for international humanitarian, international humanitarian law to be respected and civilians to be protected, and that is what our current legal assessments say is happening. And as the Foreign Secretary outlined yesterday, that Israel plans to act within international humanitarian law and has the ability to do so. But we are also deeply concerned about the impact on civilian population in Gaza. That's why we've trebled the amount of aid that we provide to the region. And just uh, recently, we sent our first maritime shipment of aid to Egypt. A UK military ship delivered over 80 tonnes of new blankets and life-saving medical equipment for Gaza. And we are working with Jordan to find more land routes. We will continue to do everything we can to support the vulnerable people who are being impacted by what's happening on the ground. Thank you.